All right, so Sanji's got something he hasn't exactly told us. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Boss or I, Shinobi. We have episodes 359 and 360 of our One Piece watch today. Now, the last one ended with Sanji confronting Absalom, one of my favorite characters in this arc. Yeah, by far, easily. And Sanji has some bad blood with Absalom for another reason that we don't know about yet. I think my only guess would be that it's because of all the food they stole off of Sunny, and he would be mad about that. Rightfully so, they probably had some really nice... Uh, luxury meats on there but I, I don't know aside from that i guess we'll find out if you're new to the channel drop us up and hit that big blood bell and let's hop into it god damn dude these shots of sanji have been cold lately we're waiting he's just standing there on fire <laughs> if sanji would do me the favor of putting this dude in the dirt i would i would be very appreciative that's what i'm saying stole one of my dreams it doesn't have to do with nami though he said aside from nami this is gonna either be really cheesy or really serious there's no in between i've never met yeah unless is it something about his body or his soul what take what off okay so the bazookas he wants to have a nice civilized discussion <laughs> sanji so it's that that part of it isn't a double fruit or just they're, they're just cannons how does he know oh shoot how would he know so is that is that how he shot the fire too dang those look fancy too oh my gosh what? Uh huh. He still hasn't really explained the whole. Oh, the clear, clear fruit. Oh, that's how he turns invisible. Okay. Yeah, but how does he know? Yeah, he's kind of tiptoeing around it. There's some Sanji backstory, maybe. I wonder how many devil fruits are actually known of. Like the percentage that are in encyclopedia like that. Oh shoot. There aren't two. Yeah, I think they've said that before. There's there's not two that are the same. So that's the one he wanted. Oh. I mean, Sanji, I'm gonna be honest. You could find cooler devil fruit powers. I mean, yeah, invisibility is cool, but to watch women bathe. Nah, actually, now that he says that, it, it makes sense for his character watch women bathe can these two stop commentating over everything i mean it's kind of funny that he says that because that's kind of absalom uses it to be creepy too so it's kind of it, it makes sense they're both pervs says you says you thank you sanji oh my gosh True! I won't slay you for that! Boy, that kick felt good though. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, Absalom ripped! Oh my gosh! Bro had that like pump cover on. I never would have seen this one coming. Oh, oh, he's like actually juicing. Bro's like on steroids. Yeah, he's always been kind of like a, a, a jack of all trades. He has a bunch of stuff hidden up his sleeve. Thanks to the bazookas, I can go invisible. It is still doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> he's just going to keep putting his face in the dirt. Bro, into that entire explanation of his powers. Uh, Sanji's kicked iron body CP9, bro. Oh, Sorry you ran into him now. All right, he's actually using it to his ability. The thing is, I've never even like thought about the possibility of one day Sanji, Zoro, Nami having uh, devil fruit powers or if any of them would want devil fruit powers. Honestly, I would think Nami would really want invisibility to be able to like sneak around and whatnot. Kind of matches her character too. <laughs> he's, he's swaying. Honestly, just run. It's so hard to fight against that man. Physically, he's still there, so you could hit him. You just don't know where from. God dang right. If only Nami knew. Also, why is she still unconscious? Didn't he just knock her out? She didn't have her shadow taken, I don't think. Well, yeah, it's your bride, bro. Why are you trying to make him drop her? What was the blade? Wait, he cut him with a blade? No shot. Well. Sanji's dead. <laughs> oh, he actually like, stabbed him. Oh my gosh. And she's just sleeping peacefully. Damn. Absalom stopped messing around. No, I think he tossed her away to probably start fighting back. Jesus. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He had a purpose to it. Wow. You got other dreams, Sanji. What was it, the all blue sea, man? Yeah. Bring the clear, clear fruit. Who needs it? Let's go! He's actually unleashed. You realize you don't need no devil fruit power to do what he already does. Because he does it best. He's got to fight back. Oh. <laughs> Unhand me. Bro is invisible. Let go. How dare you? Dude just still has a blade in his back. Ah! Oh, Sanji, you, you, you're gonna start bleeding out that wound, brother. You need to get that, that bandaged up. God dang, dude. Sanji is so metal. Then it feels good to see Absalom get beat down, too. These two, the zombie and this priest, still just commentating. Damn. Even invisible, you get in your ass beat, boy. Hell yeah. Meanwhile. Luffy getting his cheeks clapped by some bats. Don't worry, they won't suck your blood. Wait, did they do anything or are they just a nuisance? I thought he was gonna be like, oh, don't worry, they just suck your soul. I guess he already kind of has Luffy's soul to an extent. Oh no. It's what. Oh, it just reformed into his copy again. Was, oh, they did bite him up. Underestimate others. I feel like he's heavily underestimating Luffy though. Luffy doesn't need to get into gear two already. He's already struggling. You might as well. I figure he doesn't right off the bat to kind of like see if he needs to because why expend extra energy that you don't have to? But I think this calls for it being a warlord. I think when you're fighting against the warlord, that, that kind of satisfies the requirements. It is literally just gonna keep reforming over and over again. And that's the guy I see whenever I uh, I wake up in the middle of the night, can't move. Wait, what are those? Oh, lucid dreams? The hat man. Oh, he's actually intrigued now. Oh, shoot! Let's go, Luffy! Oh my god, he's gonna be pissed. Oh, shoot. <laughs> god dang, send him flying too. All right, we're making some progress there. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Usopp's still chasing Perona, being chased by her, her, her bear. Dumb, dumb, and dumber, bro. And Kuma sees the smartest out of the three. How many long, empty hallways are in Hogback's mansion, man? Actually, is this technically Hogback? I don't think this is technically Hogback's mansion. This is technically like Gecko Moria's house. I don't know. Because this is on the other side. Dude, Kuma C is actually a beast. I won't even lie. Like, look at this thing. Dude is relentless. Perhaps the strongest fighter out of the three. I will not lie. <laughs> inch past the Usopp. Why? Why even stop and poke the rocks? Also, technically, isn't isn't Kumasi a, like a, a, a zombie? Technically, rocks aren't gonna kill him, brother. He's lost it. He's actually unhinged. Oh no! Oh no! Stop, drop, and roll. Our Usopp has completely lost her. She's gone. Oil? Oh, he's gonna light it on fire? Usopp, I think you forgot the task at hand, brother. I like rule, my Gus. Yo, uh, I think somebody needs to get get Usopp in check. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. All right, go get her. Oh. That sounded like came from inside, though. Is she floating? She can just fly? Oh, wait, or is this a ghost that's like uh, appearing as her? The ghost ghost fruit? I love how she's like, yeah, once I defeat you, the final boss, your crew is mine. All right, some interesting developments all around to say the least. We go next, episode 360, we grind, baby. All right, back to, yeah, I was gonna say Luffy and Gecko Moria. I would say this is probably my, my favorite development. I actually know Brook's whole thing with Zoro and was the source of Ryuma. That's that's probably the best best fight right now. That's probably my main event, but this is like a, a secondary main event. Come on, Luffy, get him, baby. Banger, banger OST. He's just standing there menacingly. Mm-hmm. You underestimated him. This whole place is gonna get torn apart, man. All right, Luffy, don't waste needless energy. Yeah, but it's just gonna reform into his shadow again. Kisses. 
see, see. It's growing on me. It's not the best out of the villain laughs, but it's up there. I'm sticking by my theory that that she's like uh, just uh, apparated as a ghost and that's not her because she's floating like perfectly like not even like hovering and we know that she basically does turn into ghosts she sends them out at least from her body it wouldn't be a crazy stretch to say that she can look like one or make one look like her I guess <laughs> <laughs> Still trying to make him feel better. Even the ghost did a thumbs up. Tell her, Usopp, you technically the sniping king. Oh my. Well, a little Kabuto breakdown. What? That is sick. That is dope, actually. Wait, Usopp been holding out on us. He can keep different types of ammo like loaded prior. I feel like in terms of weapons, there's so many ways they could go with Usopp's slingshot and that's super cool. Okay, so no, 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 this helps my theory. I think this is all smoke and mirrors. It has to be. There's no way she just has the power to just like hover in the air, grow gigantic. It's all haunted house. And now she's just flying around like the ghosts. This isn't her, her physical form is somewhere else. Fire Usopp, fire, fire. He's got na individual names for all of them. Oh, it's so beautiful, all the different smoke clouds. Oh, she is entering him. Oh wait, but it'll just be the same thing as the ghost, right? Or maybe it's like even stronger? But it didn't even work when she sent three through him. Wait, did she like grab his heart or something? No, she's trying to get in his mind. Do not falter, Usopp! Uh-huh. Yeah, she's just trying to scare him. Okay, she's getting creepier. Oh, she reappears and would hurt him. It would kill him. She's just trying to get an opening. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is so dark. Brother. No, she's messing with him. But what would the other play be? She just wants him to think he's at the brink so his guard is lowered. Bro's heart did not just make a farting sound. Duh! She's like, I would have done it a while ago. Also that, yeah. I like how she took the time to explain it though. It was bad for his heart. <laughs> like a ghost. I like how she's literally just screwing with him now. She always stands with her feet to, like together like that. He's going to have to get smart just like her. Bro, she's straight messing with him. Oh my gosh. It's because it's still a ghost. He's got to find the core. This is oddly like, uh, I won't say what I was about to say. Yeah, but you're not doing anything to him technically, aside from making his blood pressure raise. You can try to trash talk Usopp. Yeah, that's what I said. Ghost rap? Oh, she has ghost bombs. She makes the ghosts like just blow up. <laughs> His face, bro. He said, you can't fight back. She said, all right, give me a sec. Dog Usopp, she said, man, gotta think with your noggin. It's not fair. God, that would get so frustrating. Oh my gosh. Come on, Usopp. We had so much development last arc. This is your time to shine, brother. Oh my gosh, she's going to murder him. You know, I make jokes a lot. Like, uh, like when someone falls over, I'm like, oh man, like they died. Yeah, I think uh, Usopp actually just perished. Like, no, like actually, like, he's not coming back from that one. And even if he doesn't die, there's there's some permanent damage there, mentally and physically. Who must he got back up? Oh, he got past the fire. Kumasi's he's unhinged. Oh no. I I don't think she need you, bro. She busy killing him in the other room. Well. I think that's GG, I'm not gonna lie. Why does it feel so ominous? Why am I failing so hard? Oh no, he's just gonna sit on him, man. Dodge! Oh, lovely. 
Oh, Usopp. Oh, poor Usopp. The only one that, that could actually do it. Yeah. This is the fight meant for him. You know what fight we haven't checked in on? Is Chopper still fighting Dr. Hogback? Everyone else we've gone to at least once since it started. Chopper goes, Luffy, step aside. I'll fight him. And then just, we haven't heard back. Oh my God. Usopp's literally just getting beat down. This is so sad. He's got the garlic and everything too. Kumasi's taking out all the, like the pent up aggression from being like mentally abused by her all these years. Look at him, man. This is so sad. <laughs> I get it's a bear. <gasps> oh! He's back! Yeah! Lulu, la, la, la. No way! Kumasi's done! He got salt in him! Lulu, la, la, lu. Lock on. Lock on. I see we're not abandoning this this trope, this this alter ego, which I'm not even mad about. Dang, Kum Kumasi's done. It literally just gives him confidence, but I hope it gets to a point where he doesn't need Soga King to have confidence. It's like a little boost for him. Tell him, Soga King, tell him. Can you prove that? Talking to himself. Dog, it's, it's like a self-conscious. It's like telling him, like, think, think. There has to be another way. Uh-huh. Which means there's some weakness. Why would she run away at the very beginning if there was no weakness? Does he need to be positive to her? Like she was so negative that she brought out those emotions in herself? Oh my gosh. Dude, she's so creepy. All right, we're back to Usopp. The mask is off. Mm-hmm. I think he's getting to it. What changed? Uh, Moria's kind of got his hands full. I'm not going to lie. Mm-hmm. Where her physical body is hiding. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow, that looks sort of like a, a hidden room. It's like a Wizard of Oz. Oh my gosh, she's gonna shoot at the room. Atlas Comet? Oh sh- Oh my gosh! That's gonna dispel the ghost, isn't it? There she is, baby. Is she just like unconscious from it? I was on the money. Hey, guys. Hey, give me some skin. I was on the money. I like how he was like, is there a secret room anywhere? And like the only thing in this place is just one room in the middle. Okay, so again, like I said, the, the recurring thing of, of Soga, the theme of Soga King, I guess that is going to be a sort of thing like whenever he does get into a lot of trouble, he'll pull out that alter ego. But again, I feel like he has to get to a point in terms of his character development to where he doesn't need that. And maybe there will be some time where he eventually does let go of Soga King. And uh, like, unironically, I feel like that would, could be like a really emotional moment because it'd be a, a lot of, of growth for Usopp as a character. I mean, just think of how far he's come since we met him in Sir Village, bro. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's scared and whatnot of a lot of stuff now but back then i don't think that usopp could have heard a fly man and now he's fighting like a, a basically like a sort of general of a warlord like come on man give the boy some credit but i guess we're gonna kind of take care of these I, i'm guessing it's gonna wrap up like the stuff with sanji and usopp and then we have chopper's fight with hogback zoro brook and frankie with ryuma and then luffy with with gecko moria and uh, whatever the heck ors is up to bro but guys that's been it for episode 359 360 for one piece watcher do drop us up on the channel if you are new and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace